Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys the game you have been asking for. Gallowix. It has taken me a really long time to actually get Gallowix as one of my hero selections. Trust me when I say this, I have been playing every single Gallowix Blizzard has offered me since the last patch. Unfortunately for you guys awaiting a video with Gallowix, that has not been very often, but it's true. Gallowix is a very good hero. Um, now, Gallowix, like a year and a half ago, last time they removed him was absolute crap hero, and uh, forget about anything he did before. The new Gallowix works this way. Whenever you sell a card, you will get one extra gold next turn, and this can go over 10 gold, and it creates like a new cap for the turn. I'll explain that in a second. So basically, if you sell like three cards and you have 10 gold this turn, next turn you'll have 13 gold when the turn starts. Now if you start with 13 gold on the turn start, you cannot go to 14 gold. But if you like buy that pirate that sells back for three gold, you, you should be doing that every time with Gallowix, by the way. So you're at 13, you buy that pirate, you go to 10. You can actually sell that pirate back to go back to 13, but you are not going to be able to go to 14. So it's kind of like a new maximum increase for the turn, but it's still the cap amount of gold. So you got to keep that in mind. And it seems like it's a fringe situation, but it's not really. And the reason it's not really is because Gallowix does really well with not just, you know, cards like the three gold pirate, but just economy generating cards in general. Like Gallowix obviously does well with the pirate combo, it does really well with brands, because brands can play a bunch of tokens. So even 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 like a, a a simple token card like a, a like tide hunter you know the the double double murloc in one card thing right so if you if you buy that for three gold right you follow it you guys you buy it for three gold that's how much minions cost in Bob's tavern you sell the main guy okay so you know your your it cost is now two gold then you sell the murloc itself so basically you lose one gold you're minus one gold for buying the token murloc and selling the token murloc. You're down one gold. But next turn, if you're Gallowix, you actually gain two gold because you sold back two minions, right? So uh, if you're down one gold this turn, but up two gold next turn, you should be making plays like that if you think you can afford it in the short term. So it plays completely differently. You gravitate to economy builds, and I've noticed that Gallowix is just a very strong hero if you get to that economy engine situation. But until you get to that situation, Gallowix is awful. And as a result, Gallowix on average is not very good. But when he works, oh boy, is it spectacular. And of course, it's a Crip YouTube video. You're getting nothing less this time. Is that from Dude, Where's My Car? I don't think I sat through that whole movie. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got the gist of this. Let's watch something else. Later, Domsy. So shots, tell me why why you why you don't want a POE this time. Are you scared? Cause they nerfed the game and you're like, oh shit. I'm barely playing this shit. I'm scared. And then you like, nope. I think you're tired with the unoptimized performance fuckfest lately. What, um, I actually don't have uh, performance issues when I play PoE. What are the issues you have? I literally don't. You guys can watch me play PoE. It's not like. I'm like, I'm making this up. Oh, since the texture rendering and shit. Didn't that get like fixed a little bit, or is it still really bad? Like it, it wasn't it wasn't as bad for for me. I saw other people like the bosses, their their one shot abilities wouldn't render and then kill the hardcore players. It's fixed mostly. So you'll have hard disk drives. No, I I got that on a SSD. No, it was definitely a problem, but I, I it. It wasn't as big of a problem as uh, I saw 
on others versus mine. A double rock pool hunter? Nah. Uh, I'm gonna level next turn. I'm losing here might not be too bad because I might be in the bottom four. Oh, but the plus two health isn't bottom four, right? Yep. This is bullshit. This is the second worst. This is the worst. This one's okay, but <laughs> it's so lame. Like, they really need to fix that shit. Yeah, Blizzard made it so the the Dark Moon prizes, if you're in the top half of the players alive, you get better ones. Or sorry, you get worse ones. But Blizzard's criteria for some of these is wrong. The best one by far is the plus two health for everything in your shop. By far. And Blizzard considers it a bad one, so only the top four get it. <laughs> it's just like it's so painful because like the only reason they made that mechanic is to stop snowballing and encourage comeback mechanics but because they got it backwards on which ones are good it actually promotes snowballing and crushes any kind of hope to come back <laughs> like oh look oh wait this guy's fifth oh interesting Okay, maybe it's not half. I've gotten that in like like first place. So I mean it is it is considered a top one, I don't know. Hmm. Wow. Okay. They had data from the last time they ran the prizes. Yeah, but the last time they ran the prizes, the plus two health was plus one health. So uh, yeah, maybe they maybe they buffed it and didn't change uh, its placing. PoE should not be played on softcore trade league. Do you agree? Well, no. Uh, the different leagues are for different playstyles. Like Mathel makes a new character every two days, and he wants to see what the character is capable of at its full potential within two days. I, it's going to be really hard for him to do anything besides Trade League. And some people play like that, like he's not the only one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I... I enjoy the game significantly more on on uh, Solo Cell Found. Really however, however, okay, double cell cyclone. I think I might do that. Yeah, A triple cell now. Wow, that's really interesting. I like that idea. That is smart. What the fuck, chat? Okay, yeah, because we, we get the gold back, and I'll be able to level and... Okay. Um, yeah, I like Solo Cell Found way, way, way more, but sometimes I want to make a build that needs a unique. Uh, and the thing with Path of Exile is most uniques that are rare are bad. And often the way that I like to make a build is based on one of these bad uniques. Uh, like when I made that like animate uh, animate weapon Aegis Aurora build, Aegis Aurora the previous league was a one chaos item. Like you had like six percent corrupted bonus block twenty quality Aegis Aurora for like twenty chaos. <laughs> that was because you can check this kind of stuff um, with uh, Poe Ninja and history data. So like it was laughable, right? And I'm like, yeah. Like, this, my character has almost no survivability if I don't do this. So I wish they had... I wish they had, like, more farmable divination card or similar mechanics. 
Nope. Wait, actually the, the Tide Hunter isn't bad, right? It fills the board. Let's go with the Tide Hunter for now. Hogger. Oh. Okay, fine. Yeah, I've never tried to do this before. Triple Selfer Hogger. I'm not doing that. Should I do that? Okay, I'm doing that, I guess. What kind of game am I playing right now? It's turn 7, With if I get the ref I might not get the refresh, because there's no way I'm attacking first. But if I get the refresh, this is probably alright. Freeze for Gold Grubber? No. No. Uh, okay. Oh, that was actually really good. <laughs> okay. Nice work out there. Keep up the Um yeah, I'll discover my tavern tier. So, with this hero, like, take, like, a Selemental, for example. So, a Selemental is, like, all the token cards I was buying. A Selemental costs three gold, but then you sell back two cards, so it only costs one gold. But with this hero power, you get one gold for every card you sell back. Um, so, doing all the dumb shit I did, even though it looked really bad, it gives me gold next turn. Five gold, six. Triple Mama Bear? No, I don't think so. Double faceless the Selementals? No, I don't think so. I'm just getting so lucky on breakpoints. I'm barely above my opponent's cards. Playing crazy economy, looking for something that actually is a build, and unfortunately, I'm not getting anything that is a build. Looking for brand light fang or more hoggers, and I'm getting none. So the rules are kind of bad, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, I missed the one-one beast. Okay. That sucks. Yeah, 
three dead. Your minions really pulled their weight. Oh, it's got the um, interesting. My shield for Argon. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. And this sucks. This is so shitty. I don't know. This, this is like death by a thousand cuts. Like, I don't know. It might work, but this is not good. Yeah, look at that. Jesus. Is that my favorite? No, oh, that was not bad though. <laughs> Those refresh mechs are ridiculous. Alright, here we go. 16. That's good, that's good, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, I should have taken the... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, another hogger. What the fuck? Whoa. Hold up. Okay. Those juicy attack buffs. Is it the exploit? I refuse. Six gold saved? Is it only six? I mean, I guess I leveled. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, fine. Do 
some damage. Ha! You want a tussle? That's enough. What's our savings like? Nineteen. <laughs> okay. It's good savings, dude. I might lose here. This guy's quite strong. Should have went rag, maybe. I've got some fresh recruits for you. I kept the brand to get some buffs going. I think I have to sell the hogger. Just get full board of pirates. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. You know what? I'm just gonna keep that shit. Oh, I skipped a good pirate, didn't I? this turn in time. I probably have to sell the other hogger. Holy fuck. It's 
looking good though. <laughs> it's looking really good. <laughs> okay. It turns out you can buy yourself into first place. Turns out it's possible. If only your opponent could see your hand size. I gotta say, when chat said to pick up the hogger, they were on to something. You know, it's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Yeah, capitalism. Pretty good.